We're here at our friends at Espressif at Embedded World 2024, and I'm here with you. I'm Michalek. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm good. The show been going well for you? Yeah, the show was uh, extremely uh, nice, and uh, people were asking a lot of uh, questions about other chips. Which is exactly why I'm here, especially the ESP32 P4 that you've launched. So, uh, ESP32 P4, which you can see here, is uh, kind of like one of the first chips uh, that we have that is without connectivity, but it's very powerful. It has two cores uh, running 400 megahertz, uh, it's a RISC V, plus there is one uh, low power core uh, that you can use, uh, for example, for communication with uh, I2C, like low power I2C, or uh, low power uh, SPI. Uh, the demo kit that you can see here is also featuring connectivity feature uh, with the ESP32 C6, so you can uh, combine it uh, with uh, other chips uh, to uh, gain the connectivity. Uh, the chip here also uh, contains files, so you are able to connect uh, Ethernet. And a uh, very interesting feature is uh, MIPI, DSI and CSI peripherals, which were added. And with that, we can launch, like this camera, we can wave hand here. <laughs> And you can see uh, that it has very nice uh, uh, performance. Very nice. And we've got the MIPI CSI running at 1080p here. It's not only got the most GPIOs, it has 768 kilobytes of RAM. It's two high-powered 400 megahertz cores and one lower power core at 40 megahertz. So it's a very versatile device. And there will most likely be some very interesting applications coming out of that. Thank you so much, uh, URI, for sharing that information with me. Thank you for having me here.